Okay, so for today's work on a Django, I decided to go back to the beginning. Go back and build my foundations and then figure out how to deal with the whole databases and models thing going on, right? Uh, so the, one of the big issues I've had with Django is uh, I started off uh, using a tutorial that literally comes from like Django uh, to learn how to start using Django. And literally, literally part two of your first Django app they were already getting into the database and basically how to interact with the database on the Python shell, yada, 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 yada. So if you screw any of this up, right, you're brand new, you're trying to figure this out, you know SQL, but I don't know, this just doesn't make a lot of sense to you, uh, right? This, this is where they start building on everything else. So from here, you go to build more pages. From here, you go do things, learn about the Django syntax and the whole nine yards. And my problem was, my problem, I don't really understand how to make a page render and we're already getting into the database. So today what I decided to do is go back to just abject basics. Can I get a page to show up on Django? Once I can get a page to show up on Django, once I can get that to work properly, then I'll move on to the next thing. Uh, so one of the big issues when you deal with Django is they have this URLs file. So basically, this is not how I'm used to dealing with things. I guess this is called the MVC way of programming. It's called the model view controller. Model is your data store, essentially a database, your view, is what grabs your template information and uh, the stuff from the database and then the controller is what then turns that into to a web page right so i'm just not used to this and so figuring out all this stuff so what i decided to do today is i created three different tests i had test two test three and then this whole uh, basically form thing, right? So for test two, for test two, what I decided to do is can, can I just get Django to do something, right? So when I go to test two, I don't want anything to draw on the page. I don't, I don't want to get into freaking Django syntax. Basically what I decided to do is if I go to test two, can I just simply redirect to CNN.com? So if I plug in test two here, well, just simply redirect so that I know the whole communication process is working properly. So we go here and I erase this and I do test two, right? I hit enter and yay, it just literally simply goes to CNN.com, right? So that shows me I can plug in test two, it can process test two, and then it can send me somewhere. It's like, okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So the next thing that I wanna think about is can I then create a page uh, where I can have things dynamically written on that page? Again, basically essentially like PHP. And so what I decided to do here is test three, right? So in URLs, I have test, uh, test three, that directs to the views. Uh, I created this um, uh, template, uh, test three, and basically with this, all it's going to do is going to print out, hello, the person's title and the person's name. So can, can I go to this page and then send variable values and have those variable values uh, parsed and dealt with? Uh, so here we have template equals test3.html. That's what I just showed you. Context then, this is where you put your variables, your list or whatever else. So title, colon, misses. Uh, name colon sue so those are the, that's the variable names and the values that will be sent and then you know basically we're going to send uh, the render with the context with the variable values uh, request so if we go here oh and I plug this in uh, we can see that if I now plug in test three uh, hello mrs sue now I want to make sure that's dynamic. I want to make sure that can change. So if I go Mr. here and uh, Mr. Fred, let's say, be a little formal with the Fred. And then I can go here 
and I can refresh, right? So this is very simple. This is very simple. It's no big deal, but that's showing me I can put HTML on the page. That's showing me I can send the variable values to the page and it's saying that I can then do something with those variable values. So that was the, that was the next thing that I did. And so then after that, what I decided to do is I wanted to create a form where I could uh, put a number. Basically, I want to be able to send uh, something to Django, have Django process that, and then give me a response back. No database, no database, just sending. Again, this is what we're just gonna do a guessing game here. I'm just gonna send a number. Uh, if the number isn't correct, it'll just give me the number. If the number is correct, it'll say yippee, right? Uh, and so, um, Oh, so for URLs, uh, we have the um, if else ask. So I had to put this here. I had to put the if else ask process. So this is actually going to process. Uh, we go here to the HTML. Uh, so guessing game, uh, we have a little token here, so no cross-site scripting. Uh, um, we're going to do the action, it goes to if else process, it's going to be do post. We're simply going to take a number and it's going to be submit. Uh, so if we go here, if else ask, and so guessing game, ask for number, submit. When I submit, that is then going to go over to views. Um, to the process, so if else process, right? Uh, we're going to get the template of if else answer. So if else answer is going to be here. Here, we're going to have if the number equals 70, print out yippee you win. Uh, regardless, you're gonna print out the number. And so what this does is it shows, right? Uh, so we get that template. Um, I'm going to print out the request, actually just on the terminal, uh, on the, the console here, so I see it. Context is going to equal number, so we're going to create a variable number. It's going to equal the value of request post number. Context is going to be sent uh, with the request. And so now if we go here, if I plug in one and I hit submit, it just says number one, right? So I sent a value, it processed that value and it's put it on the screen. That's fine, whatever. Uh, now if I do 70 and hit submit, yippee, you win. So that's showing me that an if statement now works. So now I am able uh, to create a page with the templates and all that. I can have it route properly. Uh, I can put in uh, variables. So I know I can manually put in variables that Django will be able to process. Uh, and now, now I know that I can create a form and put in variables so Django can process. So at this point in time, now, now, now I'm going to go try to figure out the whole models thing with the database, right? So since, since I know how to be able to, I know how to uh, basically deal with data that I can get, um, now I can connect to a database and then pull out data. Uh, now that I know I can input data and do something with it, then I could have a form that inputs data into the database and so on and so forth. So, uh, so yeah, basically starting back with the foundation um, to get where I'm trying to go. And so yeah, this isn't this isn't particularly interesting, but it does show you it does show you basically how it works. And again, this is an MVC. I guess that's a MVC way of building this stuff. Uh, but uh, I did a longer video on Eli, the computer guy, today talking about this. Uh, but this is one of the big issues you can run into when you start learning the technology is they just they just throw you into the deep end way too quick. Again, literally lesson two, and you're already screwing around with this weird ass database. You're literally dealing with a database. <laughs> When you don't, when you're not quite sure how to make a page, just print out just, just text, just text. So that doesn't make a darn bit of sense. So anyways, there you go. Day three on Django. Uh, and this also shows you, you know, relatively how quickly you can go. So I probably spent, again, when I say day three, that's incorrect. I probably spent like six, probably spent six or seven hours on this so far. Like if you really look at it, like how much time I've sat down. I probably spent six or seven hours to get to this point. Um, and if you know much about learning technology, you realize like this is actually a hell of a lot farther than it looks. Like you look at this, you're like, yeah, who the hell cares? 
But this is this is the basic concept. Like once once you figure out the basic concept, everything else is just lengthening it out, right? Once you can do the, it's like a SQL statement. Once you understand how SQL statements work, then basically you create a really complicated SQL statement. You may have to get a whiteboard and you know draw it out to the nth degree, but you understand how to do it. Like once you once you can get to this point, uh, the rest of it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I say, I say. So anyways, if you like these types of videos, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. YouTube does not care uh, whether or not this content is good for your health. They just care that you interact. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, do the whole nine yards, and I will see you on Monday.